Despite his mother's opposition, Duncan is steadfast in his resolve to pursue liberty. In chapter 1415, he disregards her threats and cautions, claiming his independence and vowing to remain true to his affections for liberty. Mrs. Lewis grows more irate and frustrated at her son's disobedience. Given the challenges she encountered in her former marriage, Duncan is aware that Liberty is not an easy person to pursue. However, he asserts that his concern for her has developed into love and he is ready to take the lead in making an effort to get close to her. He rejects the notion of keeping his feelings to himself as he waits for Liberty to take the initiative. He thinks that to be in love, you have to work for it. Unable to control her rage, Mrs. Lewis smacks Duncan and tells him not to pursue Liberty. If he continues, she says she'll take legal action. Duncan, though, is unwavering and cautions his mother about the possible repercussions of hurting Liberty. She is reminded by him of the significance of preserving good connections with the powerful Stone and York families. When Mrs. Lewis realizes the degree of her son's independence and stubbornness, she becomes dumbfounded and glares at him. She considers his past disobedience and remembers his impetuous actions in his adolescence. One of the distinguishing traits of Duncan's life has been his willingness to choose his own path even if it meant deviating from what his family expected of him. Duncan's success as the CEO of Lewis & Company, a business he founded on his own without the help of his family, is proof of his aptitude and independence. He carved up his own route, working with Zachary and other powerful organizations to establish a prosperous company. His life and accomplishments have been defined by his refusal to follow his parents' advice and his choice for independence. Duncan relaxes and asks Mrs. Lewis to wake him up when they get home while she attempts to find the right words to describe her frustration. He says that the night before, he was so worried about liberty that he didn't get a wink of sleep. He considers where his love for her came from while admiring her physical change and her perseverance in conquering adversity. Despite being worn out, he is still unsure of Liberty's response to his declaration of love. He worries that she'll reject him or stop him from going to her breakfast joint. In order to have Liberty gradually fall in love with him and feel powerless to reject his approaches, Duncan considers a slow method to winning her over. When Liberty had others to care for her, Mrs. Lewis chastises her son for staying up all night at the hospital. She berates him for his decisions and says that he must bear the cost of his deeds. Duncan replies coolly, saying that he made the commitment voluntarily and that seeing Liberty recover made him happier than any million-dollar business deal. Looking at her sleeping son, Mrs. Lewis experiences a mixture of rage sadness, and helplessness as Duncan falls asleep in the car. The chapter highlights Duncan's strong resolve and his solid conviction that seeking his own happiness is what he should do, regardless of whether doing so means defying his family's expectations and facing their criticism.